I tried to make a video showing the last electrical connections. Uh, the problem is it's like 10, 15 minutes of me wrestling with these uh, wires that don't want to bend the way I want them to bend. It's really uh, not necessary. So I'm just instead going to show you the last electrical connections. Um, this right here is the longer wire that comes off of the alarm switch. And it goes over this post here and there's a nut that has to be uh, tightened down on that post. This is very awkward to do after the movement's already been added to the back of the case. It's the way I've, I've done it uh, with every electro alarm I've worked on, but it seems to me like a better plan would be to attach this before attaching the movement to the back of the case. Uh, but in any case, uh, it can be done. I usually get it started with my fingers and tighten it with a pair of little uh, pliers. Um, and then there's only four more wires need to be connected. Um, now, as you're looking at uh, the electro alarm, you have one clock coil wire coming off the left side. Okay, that's that one goes to the bottom here and it gets coupled with this front wire on the bell coil. So both of those are put down under the contact and screwed down. As you're looking at the uh, clock coil on the right hand side, there's um, a wire coming off the coil. That's going to go to the top and it's going to be tightened down with the wire coming off of this mechanism which uh, controls the um, alarm being shut off. Um, so we have that going on. Um, at this point um, we can add the um, time set knob on the back here and um, now that I've got all the electrical connections made I'm just simply um, going to plug this in with an original style wire and just make sure that it's functioning the way it's supposed to um, and I got all the electrical connections correct so I'm going to put that in there plug this in and then plug in the cord and we'll see what happens all right so there I got all the electrical connections uh, correct for the time and so now we're going to move on to the next step which is to put the uh, face and hands back on